one of the things that's definitely going to happen in the future to the internet is we're going to connect more people to it. And there's a bunch of different efforts going on to try to bring that, bring that about. Um, you know, whenever you start a problem like this and you're trying to get to 100%, so ideally every person on earth would have some form of internet access. The part you get first is always the easy part. So we've done the easy half. We've done the half of the world that has good infrastructure. We've done the half of the world that has money. We've done the half of the world where it was easy to get electricity and cabling uh, out to people's houses, out to people's homes, out to people's places of work. That part's done. What we have in front of us is the tough part, the tough half. So still about 50% of people on earth lack, lack internet access. And I think in many ways, the internet is going to be even more transformative to those people's lives than it was to the first 50% of people because these are people that don't have some of those basic services and so are sort of living in a, a somewhat of a different world. And getting them some form of internet access is gonna be really exciting because we're gonna bring them online and that's really gonna change their lives in a lot of really interesting ways. There's a bunch of projects out there run by various companies that are trying to address this problem, which is essentially how do I get internet access to large swaths of territory where there's no, you know, there may be no roads, there may be no electricity, there's certainly no, you know, fiber optic cable running across, you know, right of ways and things like that. So how do we deliver internet access uh, in this in this way? And a lot of them are focusing on doing this from the sky. So Google has something that's called Project Loon that I think is run by one of the Alphabet companies now, sort of their um, moonshot company. And what Project Loon is is doing is is basically this. So. Project Loon is aiming to try to provide internet access from the air uh, from these balloons. So Project Loon has launched, I think, dozens of these. Um, this is, I think, somewhere in Sri Lanka or something that, that they're launching this particular balloon. And so these balloons get launched and then these are unpiloted. Um, I think they can steer them, but there's no propulsion on this balloon because think about it, you have to be able to um, power, there have to be some form of power. Maybe there's solar panels on this or something like that so it can harvest power because the goal is to to let this balloon go up and then I think they do steer them somehow but they don't there's no propulsion on it so I can sort of you know if the winds blowing in a particular direction I can sort of try to steer off in one way uh, but I can't push myself in any particular direction I'm at the mercy of the, sort of the winds at the particular uh, part of the atmosphere where these balloons are, are going to going to live um, and and what happens is these balloons end up sort of like slowly orbiting all over the earth and you know uh, part of the interesting uh, challenge for this project is figuring out how to get good coverage of the areas that we actually care about. Because if this thing's floating over the continent of the United States, no one's really going to care, right? I mean, I want to get this out into places where people don't have internet access. So how does it work at that point? Well, now I've got some sort of transmitter on this thing, and what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to beam down um, some type of uh, wireless signal over a, a wide area, and people. Uh, you know, within the range of this particular device can connect to it using some sort of mobile device and they can use it to transmit data. And then what happens to the data once it gets there is also a good question. It may, um, the balloon may have a way to beam it down to another station where it then hits some sort of wired link. Um, and so, as you can tell, the engineering challenges with designing systems like this are, are really uh, pretty interesting. And I also want to point something else out, which is that you're not going to get a high-speed connection from this thing, right? I mean, the efforts like this and Google, um, Facebook has a similar effort where they're using sort of unmanned planes that orbit slowly. So there's a bunch of these types of systems that are built to try to provide wide area internet access from the air to parts of the world that don't have any internet access today. but the type of signal and the type of connection you're gonna get from this device is going to be very slow. However, it'll be something. But I think what we should anticipate is that the people that we're gonna bring online in the next 10, 20 years, as we get through that next 50% of people on Earth who don't have internet access, are gonna have connections that are very different than the ones that we're used to. And so there's gonna be an interesting challenge for the rest of the internet architecture, which is how do you deliver useful information to somebody who's connected to a Project Loon balloon? If they go to your website, they're probably, you know, downloading a single web page may take five minutes or 10 minutes or an hour and really consume a lot of resources that these devices uh, don't have much of. And so how do we use these very, very intermittent, very slow connections in useful ways to still bring some of the transformative power of the internet to people that lack it today? So this is something that's gonna be really interesting. Again, you know, we've done the easy 50%, we've done the 50% where the internet is changing our lives, but maybe isn't gonna have the same impact the next 
percent is the hard part, but also the part where we're going to see huge impact from bringing new people online for the first time.